multi-talented vehicles are in demand. These days, many people want more than a simple station wagon. Families with children in particular covet a third row of seats. And of course, the car has to be robust and able to carry a big load. Does the Dacia Logan MCV have what it takes? We tested one from its most well-equipped Laureate line with a 105 horsepower engine. At the front, the chrome trim on the radiator grille is eye-catching. The transparent glass headlights are large and clearly visible. From the side, it becomes apparent that the NCV boasts loads of room. With its high roof line, steep side panels, and vertical rear end, it offers the ideal conditions for a third row of seats. Like any station wagon, it's got to be tough. Protective strips on the doors help ward off dings and scratches. The tailgate features split rear doors, and the handle fits nicely into the black trim. On the driver's side, a rear window wiper ensures good visibility in bad weather, but the painted trunk sill isn't likely to hold up well in everyday use. Going back to the front, the Dacia is powered by a 1.6-liter gas engine made by Renault. All-round visibility is super, and when required, the Logan MCV can reach 100 kilometers per hour in just over 12 seconds. The vehicle has a top speed of only 174 kilometers per hour, but it's not the kind of car most people will want to drive fast. Plus, the engine screams at top speed. If our ears could wish for something, it would likely be a sixth gear. Still, MCV clients are usually more concerned with other things, like seating, we're testing a vehicle with an optional third row of seats, which costs 500 euros extra. Now we're going to see how easy they are to reach. In two easy steps, the seat tips forward, even making it possible for adults to get in the back. And there's plenty of leg room too. Those with long arms have no trouble getting back out either. And passengers in the second row can ride in comfort as well. When it comes to its interior, Dacia has tried to emulate the big car makers. Unfortunately, not all that glitters is chrome, but the contrasts do make for a modern look. The center console is well arranged and uncluttered. It could actually do with a few more switches like the ones for the rear windows. They're behind the handbrake. The dashboard is well-structured, but looks a bit old-fashioned, and the blinkers could sound a little more confident. The cup holder in the third row of seats makes a bold statement. However, unlike the driver and passenger doors, the rear ones don't have any storage capacity. Still, the Dacia scores points when it comes to transporting cargo. Folding down the sixth and seventh seats is child's play. And the 60-40 split folding rear bench folds down easily. Even as a seven-seater, the MCV still offers at least 198 liters of cargo capacity. With the back seats all folded down, a whopping volume of 2,350 liters is possible. And with a passenger seat pushed forward, you can even fit in a two-meter long mattress support into the car. For conclusion, the Logan MCV isn't a car for intention seekers. It's as down to earth as its price. Our test model starts at just 11,650 euros in Germany.